Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Kovac Enterprises. Uh, as you can see, we've made some progress with the uh, 55 Chevrolet Nomad. Um, we're basically uh, a couple things. We went ahead and assembled uh, the engine assembly, and we're going to kind of go over the wheels and rims and uh, kind of skip around here on the instructions. Uh, We'll go over the uh, chassis, part of the uh, chassis assembly as well. So first off, as you can see here in front of you, uh, we have the uh, fully assembled uh, engine. I uh, went ahead and uh, opted for the stock custom version. And uh, we can kind of bring this in a little bit closer for you. And <clears throat> we went ahead with basically the uh, Chevrolet red for the engine block itself. And uh, of course the air filter and other components of the engine, we went ahead with the uh, uh, satin black. And I am using the acrylic paint, so uh, everything you see here is all water-based paints. And uh, this was all pretty much hand-painted once uh, we put all the parts together. So uh, just kind of give you a, a little turnaround on my turntable here so that you can see all the sides that we did for the uh, engine and uh, like I said uh, we used the back this up a little bit here <coughs> I believe we went ahead and for the engine block itself we used the uh, Craftsmart Holiday Red and then painted that on this is the uh, satin acrylic paint and then for the uh, for the black we went ahead with the again with the Craftsmart uh, black satin acrylic paint as well and then as far as the uh, transmission area we uh, chose the folk art gunmetal gray and then just for some like little highlights on the transmission itself we uh, went with the uh, bronze metallic uh, sharpie pen and so <clears throat> like I said this is the final assembly of the uh, of the engine itself and as far as the uh, wheels we went ahead uh, I went again with the stock version of the wheels so you can see we uh, assembled the rims and the uh, tires themselves and then of course uh, we add the uh, part behind it too as well so that's all together uh, this part here is going to be painted black eventually and uh, this is like a firestone I believe uh, I'll see about maybe possibly or I'm sorry try to read it right yeah I guess it is firestone um, but we're going to maybe try and highlight, the, you know, in white for the tires themselves. So you got four of those that are put together. And then <clears throat> we went ahead and started on the chassis assembly, as you can see right here. And uh, we painted that again with the uh, Craftsmart Satin Black. Uh, and this time I used my Pache airbrush to uh, go ahead and put this all kind of together once uh, once everything was put together we went ahead and painted, painted most of the components of the chassis all black uh, the muffler itself is basically the folk art gunmetal gray uh, we left the uh, this part here and kept it in chrome itself and you know with the, the springs and the uh, shocks that's all chrome plated and again we did some like little highlight touches with the uh, bronze metal uh, metallic uh, sharpie itself <clears throat> now uh, as far as putting this part here together let me uh, put that in here let me uh, see if I get a pointer here for a second uh, as far as the instructions on the uh, page here, as far as how to uh, 
it's not really in order. You have to kind of dry fit everything and see what's the best way of gluing each part without uh, interfering with another part that's gluing it afterwards. So it took some practice and knowing what part to put in first because it doesn't really tell you in the instructions, you know, step one, step two, step three, like sub, sub parts. So uh, it was basically trial and error. Um, but uh, we finally got everything together. And you see I got the springs painted blue. That's what it was called for, for, for a blue paint. So we did that. So that's basically what we have here. So pretty much the uh, chassis is complete at this point. Uh, so next step will be to go ahead and insert the uh, drive shaft and glue in the, uh, the motor itself. So uh, stand by and we will be right back. And of course we'll probably go ahead and add the, uh, the tires as well with the uh, metal axle. And uh, like I said, we'll be right back and we'll catch you later. See you soon. All right, and we are back. And as you can see, we did a little bit more work on the uh, chassis part. Uh, like I say, as far as uh, gluing in the uh, engine as well as uh, attaching the, uh, the wheels themselves. Um, <clears throat> while we're looking at it, I, I did went ahead and hand painted the uh, kind of white around the uh, outside of the tires here. It had some good uh, indentions in it so it, it was easy to kind of stay within that circle pattern so uh, we went ahead and did all four tires like that. Uh, there's that there. And we can kind of turn this around here and you can see the engine from a different perspective here so there you go and of course then we have the other side here as well now as far as you know we'll kind of flip this thing around as you can see the underside uh, <clears throat> so basically uh, the model gives you a metal axle uh, but if you insert the one end of the metal axle to one part of the tire and you feed it through the uh, rear suspension it doesn't come out the other side so to resolve that situation uh, I went ahead and took the uh, metal axle I measured it out to it was like two and a, about two and a quarter inches long uh, I looked at the halfway point and I actually cut it in half uh, so that uh, I went ahead and glued in the one half slide in this way here glued the other half in and slide it in this way here that way uh, I had full contact with the tires to the rear suspension without losing that uh, metal axle so that was what I did on that part and you can see we have the drive shaft in place here and uh, we had like one pinpoint uh, where the oil pan was uh, to attach the front in here so there you go so we got that situated and all together on that so we'll go ahead and take that out uh, we also went ahead and started on the interior bucket and this is what we came up with um, <clears throat> as you can see oh, hold on a second I just want to grab something here for a second Okay, so as you can see, I went ahead with the uh, black satin acrylic paint uh, and sprayed that on first. And then, as far as the next round, is the uh, basically the holiday red, like you see, see here. And then I don't know if it'll pick up on or anything like that, but. Uh, I highlight the back rear seat with these two little points and in, in, uh, basically green. Uh, so if you recall, I'm kind of doing a color pattern theme uh, in honor of Chris. As you can see with the, I don't know if the camera will pick up the colors here, but 
of course this Chris Cortell's Classic Plastic 101 Hangout uh, has the colors of the uh, white, green, red, and the black for the background. So uh, that's kind of like what I'm going with uh, to kind of honor Chris the best I can. Um, so, and on the back side here, I went with a brown and uh, kind of hand painted that on there. It kind of looked like a wooden uh, deck area. As far as the center console with the T-shifter and chrome uh, and the other chrome plating that fits in there, uh, actually I cut that in half. Uh, as you can see here, we have the other half. It originally kind of looked like that. Hold on a second here. Yeah, so it originally looked like that and I measured it out and cut it in half just using uh, some cutters because uh, I wanted to go ahead and use the actual stock uh, front seat as well as the uh, you know the rear seat for this particular build so uh, there you go that's the interior bucket and we'll go ahead and pull that one off and then next up uh, we went ahead and did some detail work on our dashboard again using the uh, theme from uh, Chris uh, with the uh, black green and the red so hopefully you can see that pretty good and I'll probably post some pictures at the end of the video so you can get a better detailed look of it so there you go there's that and I probably won't use these but you know they came with two of these as well as the uh, kind of bucket seats but uh, I was in a painting mood so I went ahead and painted these all up may want to use them for a future build for putting it in something else but that comes with the uh, like basically the seat belts and everything already molded in there so that is that and <clears throat> Like I said, with that being said, that's about where we're at right now with the uh, build in this uh, episode. And uh, so, with that being said, uh, we will leave it at that. Uh, try to make this as short as possible, and uh, we'll go ahead and wait for the next uh, video. So until then, everybody have a good day. And we will catch you on the uh, next installment for the uh, 1955 Chrysler Nomad. Skovac Enterprises, signing off.